Let's play Noggin. Take any three letter cards from the deck and place them face up on the table like this. Now shuffle the rest of the cards and deal them out evenly between all the players. One at a time, each player will turn over a card from their own stack and place it onto one of the three piles on the table. It doesn't really matter which pile they choose, but play generally goes clockwise. At some point, a player will deal an action card, which will cover one of the three letters, leaving just two of them visible. There are seven action cards in total, and this is how they work. First up is bookends. The first player to call out a word that starts with one of the visible letters and ends with the other wins the card. For example, with the letters A and M, you could have the words arm, magma, alarm, mimosa, or any other word you can come up with that starts with one of the letters and ends with the other. Another action card that could appear is middle letters. Here, the first player to call out a word which has both of the visible letters anywhere in the middle of the word wins. For example, with A and M, you could call out words like smart, trampoline, or how about organisms? Next up is neither letter. Just say any word that doesn't contain the two visible letters. In this case, you could say, well, anything really, box, cheese, phone, tortoise, or literally any word that doesn't have an A or an M in it. However, once you've used that word, you cannot repeat it again during the same game of noggin. Next up is initials. All you have to do is call out a famous person, fictional character, or historical figure whose initials are A, M, or M, A. For example, Marie Antoinette, Angela Merkel, or Anthony Mackie. That's a good one. Next up is word association. We need a word that starts with one of the letters and a word that starts with the other letter that have an obvious connection. With A and M, you might say money, an accountant, astronaut and moon, arm and muscle, or movie and actor. Next up is word disassociation. This time we need two words, each beginning with one of the visible letters that have literally no connection at all. For example, ant and magic microphone and armpit, or artist and moose. Next up is Describe It, aka the hairy gorilla card, where we need a two-word description of something using the letters, such as angry monster, mucky alpaca, ancient monument, or moldy apple. After an action card is dealt, the first player to call out a correct answer wins the card, which they keep on the table next to them in their winning pile. Whoever has the biggest pile of action cards at the end of the game wins. Let's see a round of Noggin in action. Players take it in turn to deal cards face up onto the three piles. At some point, an action card appears. In this case, bookends and someone calls out a word that starts with one of the letters and ends with the other. J and M, or M and J. Can you think of a word? Jam. Nice one. The player that calls out the correct answer takes the card and places it face up in their winning pile. They then deal a new card onto one of the three letter piles. Play continues in a clockwise direction until another action card comes out. In this case, it's word association with the letters M and D. Can you think of two words beginning with either of those letters that have a connection? How about medicine and doctor? The player wins the card and places it on their winning pile before dealing a new card onto one of the three piles. Play continues until all the cards have been dealt onto the table. And remember, whoever has the most action cards at the end wins the game. If a player calls out a wrong answer, they must put one of the action cards they've already won in the middle of the three piles. The next player to win an action card from the regular gameplay also wins this extra card too. If at any point all players agree that they can't think of an answer, they can bounce the action card clockwise onto another pile to reveal a different letter. And if they still can't think of an answer, they can opt to put the action card in the middle to be claimed by the winner of the next action card. This rule is optional, but for seasoned Noggin players, it is advised. 
If at any point a player spots a three-letter word going in a clockwise direction, they can call it out. If they're the first one to do so, they can steal an action card from another player's winning pile for themselves. If they're wrong, though, or make a mistake, they must place one of their winning cards in the middle. And that is how you play Noggin. Enjoy. <laughs>